The following video is intended for general information only. The circumstances of each case are different and must be addressed on a case-by-case -case basis. The information in this video is specific to the state of Tennessee and is not a substitute for the advice of a lawyer. Also, laws may change and may be different from county to county. Legal Aid of East Tennessee presents the Anytime Attorney, legal information on demand 24-7. This video discusses setting up an online Social Security account. The Social Security Administration no longer sends out paper statements, but you can still get information or make changes by setting up an online Social Security account. Setting up an online account will allow you to review your personal information, check on your benefits, make address and phone number changes to your account, and even set up direct deposit. You will have access to benefit verification that states if you've ever received benefits, are currently receiving benefits, or if you've applied for benefits. You must be 18 years of age or older, have a valid Social Security number, and have a U.S. mailing address. You must also provide an email address. If you don't have an email account, you can set one up with a provider such as Google, Yahoo, or AOL. It is important that you have your own email address and have access to this email account. Do not use someone else's email address to set up a Social Security account. You will need certain personal information about yourself, your full name, home address, Social Security number, date of birth, and primary phone number. Once you've gathered your personal information, access the Internet with a home computer, public computer at a library or school, or on your mobile device. Go to www.ssa.gov slash my account. Note there are no spaces in this web address. From here, click on sign in or create an account. Then click on create an account. On the following page, read the terms of service. Check the box at the bottom that says I agree to the terms of service. Then click on next. Fill in the blanks with the personal information requested. Once you finish this process, you will need to create a username and password. You will use the username and password to access your account in the future, so be sure to write them down and keep them in a safe place. Now it just takes a few clicks on a computer or mobile device to access your Social Security account information. This video was produced by Legal Aid of East Tennessee. The information in this video is not a substitute for the advice of a lawyer. Also, laws may change and may be different from county to county and in states other than Tennessee.